Hello, it's uh, Sally Ann, and I've got uh, another card to show you today. It's this one here. Now it looks quite complicated, and it is when you first look at it. But and when you first construct it, you think, "Oh gosh, how's this going to work?" But once it, you've got your head around it, it works quite well. Let me just show you it a little bit closer. It uses um, mostly Sir Wilson's dies. Um, Let's start. I've got one here. The outer frame here is from the French collection, Calder and Border die. Use this as one here, and I cut it very close. So in fact, it wasn't as wide as this. I cut quite a bit off the edge here to stick it along the top of the card. This is the Rambling Blossom uh, embossing folder, which looks quite stunning. The paper is American. Crafts. It's um, the pastel set, I think. Beautiful colours. So that's the framework. This is the French French border. That, that die there. Yes, I didn't use those. So it's just the French die. Then this little bit in the middle. Now, it's a variety of dies. Well, it's kind of the dies used in different kind of ways, which is what I like about it. It calls on um, using this die here, which I think is the St. Kitts. I always get these two mixed up. I think this is the St. Kitts. It could be St. Lucia, but anyway, they're together on the same <laughs> on my same board. Um, so the, the this outer frame is made by cutting with these two dies first, and then you put you cut a piece of the blue to back it. So you cut it first in white like so and a piece like that blue to back the the whole the whole die. And then what I found is um, using the piece out of the other die, this piece, you cut that central piece out of the middle. Do you see? Okay, then it starts to get a bit a little bit complicated. First of all, these two pieces here that kind of slot over the, the side wings are made using the other the other die, which are these three pieces here. So you cut them out in white, just in white. You do two of those. And then literally, as you see, they sit on either side. So you do two of those. And then you use the... Now, I didn't know which one to use, but I used the thinner of the two pierced flags. And what I did, I kind of folded it in the middle, because um, I knew how long I wanted it. Folded it in the middle, and then I cut it so that it, like that, and then opened, opened it up. And basically what you do is you weave this piece, this flag piece, in between that holds all your pieces together. Um, it's a bit fiddly, but with patience it works. And then I used, um, I forget which is this this came out of, but it was, I think, from the Spellbinders Oval. I think that was the one I had to hand. Um, I've probably got it here, actually. Yes. I used the this die here of the Oval Floral from Spellbinders. That It just happened to be on my desk, and this is new to me, so I'm having to play with it shortly. So I used that, and then I used a Just Right stamp um, in the, the middle, and a little bit of Stormy, ooh, what's it, Stormy Blue, uh, the Dress Distressing ink, just to give it a bit of colour, because it looked a bit weird, uh, a white on its own. And then I used a strip of pearls across the, the bottom and top. Um, I have to say, it's not an original design, it's purely been inspired by a Sue Wilson die I saw or card that I saw on Pinterest and I just added a little happy birthday there. And I think on the inside I just added a thinking of you again using the, the same dye, a little bit of the stormy cloud blue. Or, oh, gosh, Tim Heltzel sees this, he'll go mad because I can't remember the name. But anyway, um, so just that in the inside. Just a really pretty, pretty card. I think it looks lovely, lacy. And I love this blue, this sort of cornflower, cornflower blue paper. What's well, card stock, isn't it? So there we have it. Um, yes, I'm going through a bit of a Sue Wilson uh, love affair of, at the moment in terms of her dyes and things. 
I'm really enjoying playing with them. Anyway, I hope you like this card, and I'll see you next time. Bye.